Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about random numbers, how to generate them. So it's pretty easy in Swift. Let's let random int equals. We're going to do int dot random, and it's going to be in range. We're going to do zero dot 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 ten. So this this is going to generate a random number from zero to ten. We're going to print random int. And we get nine. And we can run it again. And we get eight. We can run it again. We get three. So this is from zero uh, up to 10, I think. So I think if, let's try something out. Let's go zero to one and we'll see. So we get zero. Get one. So yeah, zero to one. So we can do this. This little mark here, uh, the less than, or I don't know, I don't even know what that is. I think that's a less, that, that is a less than, I'm brain um, not working. So this will always give us a zero since it's zero to less than one and the only number there is zero. So that works. We can also do negative numbers. So this will give us a negative one. It's not very random because we know what it's going to be, but yeah. So we can do this with quite a lot of things. I think we can do random double equals double dot random. So zero to 10. And I'm not sure what the significant digits on this would be, but yeah, it's quite huge. I'm not sure if you can manipulate that at all, but I don't really see where this double would come useful because yeah, I don't, I don't know. We can also do random bool equals bool dot random and it'll give us a true or a false. Well, um, oops, it will give us a true or false because those are the only two options. So it's a little head flip, coin flip, true, false. There's one more thing uh, we can make an inner, let's make an array. We haven't gone over arrays yet, but one, two, three. So this is just a, let's just make these different numbers. So this is just a collection of numbers. What we're gonna do is array dot random element, I think. Let's just print that. Yeah, I think we can also do dot Shuffled. Oh, okay. So yeah, it shuffles the array. And then you could do like dot first to grab the first one. And it will be a random number. But it keeps giving me one. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, there we go. 13. So yeah, that's an interesting way to do it. But yeah, not much to say on that. Pretty basic. The thing that you're mostly going to use is int.random, and then you can select your range that you want. So thanks for watching. Bye.